Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Froenz and today we're going to do Don't Panic Python of week 6 of CS50 Introduction to Database with SQL. So in this exercise we are revisiting the Don't Panic exercise of the previous week and instead of doing everything in SQL we're going to apply SQL in Python and we will see that this works. You don't need to do anything super different, we just need to follow the instructions they're giving us in here. All right, so download the source code and let's understand the walkthrough. Right now, when you open up the data, when you open up the source code, you have a database, you're gonna have a Python file and a reset.sql in case you do something wrong, okay? If you don't know Python for real, I highly recommend you taking a look at the description where you can practice more about programming in many different languages in our coding platform called Coding Doors. It's pretty good and I think you should take a look. All right, right now we have this file here. If we want to run this file, you can do python hack.py and it will just print the word hack, okay? Because we're printing this. Then, in order to connect database with Python, we need to import a library from CS50 that will allow us to do that. So we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'm gonna remove this print. So we're gonna import from CS50 a function called SQL that will allow us to write SQL commands in here. Besides that, we need to create a variable called DB. Okay, I'm gonna put it in here. We're gonna create a variable called DB and we're gonna set equals to our function SQL from CS50 and in the, inside we put the name of our database. So this is the path to reach our database based on panic.db. Once we do that, we need to, we can run a SQL query. So what is the goal of the exercise? We want to change the password of the admin with the password that the user will type in in the terminal. In order to do that, first, we need to use a function called input. So I'm going to create this variable here, password equals to input, enter a password. And you will see that this message here, when I run, the input will display a question for the user and we can type anything. If I say hello, it will store in the variable password. So if I print password to show you, and I put here as a password Giovanna, for example, password is storing the message Giovanna. But I don't want to print, I want to store the password the user type in, and I want to change our table where the user is admin. Okay, so we're going to use this query here. What can we do? Let me copy the right answer. As I mentioned, 